So the article Blackwater and Justice has opened and now you ha I'm going to have to decide, as you will have to decide, whether or not this article is scholarly. Now, just because it isn't scholarly doesn't necessarily mean that it's not credible or that it's not, um, you know, v verified information. It's just that sometimes your instructors want you to use scholarly research materials and those are very specific things. So going back to our PowerPoint, a scholarly article is one authored by academics for an audience that's mainly academics. Um, so, and it's published by a recognized society in, in a journal. Um, this is published in The Nation, which isn't a journal to my knowledge. Um, and if I just start to read it briefly, in a stunning 90-page decision issue, da 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 da, the investigators found that the shootings were unprovoked. Okay, the article doesn't seem that scholarly in nature in terms of the tone of the article. And if you look at it, it's only really two pages long and it includes kind of a funny illustration here and it's written by a columnist so um, so far it's looking like it's a popular magazine article it's written for lay people um, it's written in everyday language um, it's by an it's by a um, columnist not necessarily by a, a law scholar it uh, does does it include a bibliography it does not include a bibliography, so it doesn't have a list of sources of what this article used in order to write this paper. So no bibliography. And again, the author is a reporter. So um, the peer-reviewed aspect of this doesn't really co come into question because this is basically not a scholarly article. So this doesn't necessarily mean you wouldn't want to use this in your research, but for the homework, where it says, is this article scholarly or not, why, you would write down for this particular example that it is not scholarly because it's in a publication called The Nation, which is a magazine. Um, it's only two pages long. It's written in common everyday language. Um, it does not have a bibliography and it, and it doesn't include any you know, research or diagrams. It just has a funny um, picture in it. So based on that, you would say, and it's written by um, a, a columnist as opposed to an expert in the field. Th based on those criteria, this is not an example of a scholarly publication. Now, for the next example, I'm going to go into a different collection and I'm going to, um, you know, find an article and determine whether or not it's scholarly. But before I go into the next collection, what you want to do for your um, assignment is to export the citation for this article into your RefWorks account. So I'm going to show you how to do that in the next little video.